Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. On the table here we've got a selection of handheld radios. We've got the FT2DE, which is 2 and 70. We've got the Anytone 868, uh, which is 2 and 70. And we've got the Watson Wushon handheld, which is 2 and 4 meters. Now one of the biggest improvements you can do to your handheld is to add an external antenna or a bigger antenna to it. So most people go out and purchase a Nagoya. This is the NA711. They do them in uh, Nagoya. They do one that fits on a Yaesu radio. They do also one that fits on the Bayer thing, which will also fit on the Anytone and the Wushan radios, and the NA711. What happens if you want to put an external antenna on from the shack? Might have a BNC plug on there, that sort of thing. Most people go out and purchase this, which is a BNC to SMA. Uh, BNC to SMA adapter, but I'm always worried that when it goes on the radio, I'm going to stick it on this one, the FT2DE, that I'm going to break the socket if I put a cable in there that's too heavy, or I put, say, this antenna on, this is the Bingfer antenna, I'm always worried about the socket breaking, you can see there, it looks a bit flimsy. So what I've gone and purchased is some more SMA to BNC plugs, and this time it covers a whole of the socket. I've got one for the any well two of them actually. One that'll work on the any tones and the bay of things, that's in silver, and ones that work on the Yasu radios. And I've got them in gold. So we screw it onto the Yasu radio. See there, looks like it's a lot more secure. But you'll see there there's a bit of a gap between the radio and the connection. So what you need to use which you don't get with it, but you can, must have these lying about the shack somewhere. Little rubber O-rings. That goes over the antenna socket, and then we can put that on. There we go. No more gap. And you also got one that will work on the any tones and the bare things. And this one's got no rubber grommet needed, or rubber O-ring needed. Just uh, screw that straight in there, nice and tight. But don't over tighten them because you will, you could potentially damage the socket if you over tighten it. Which means now we can use, so this Bing Fair antenna. Check that out. Look at that. I wonder how far I'll get on that now. Hmm, be interesting to see. And I can use on the Yasu, can use the FT817 antenna on a 2DE. There we go. So, should improve the range of the handheld. Now these are the stock antennas you get. You see there, the, new, the ones you put on the radio now are a lot longer, so we should be able to get a better range on them. And that's the one that came with the Anytone. Well, it did come with one with a red top, but they kept falling off, so that's off a Bayer thing. But it works, no problems, on the Anytone. These connections, they come off eBay. Around about £2.25, £2.30 each. I personally think they're a lot more secure then these connections here means it means it hopefully it won't damage the socket but it means you can stick a BNC antenna on there such as one in your shack so I could stick my Diamond 50 on say this radio and see if it receives any better regarding DMR transmissions or I could stick it on this radio see if we can get any uh, fusion transmissions from home because at the moment there's no fusion repeaters near me if I want to use a fusion I either go radio to radio or I go radio to Raspberry Pi so it was a quick look at these new connections I've got from uh, eBay. Some come from Technofix, the other ones I can't remember the other company I've got them from. Around about £2, £22.30 each, and I've got two of them. And I've also got another two to fit on the radio, so I've got some, some spare. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. But if you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73.